Hi, my name is Ken Walther from Valley Aquatic Solutions and today we're going to talk about using the Taylor Test Kit. In this part I'm going to show you how to test for free and combined chlorine. I'm going to show you now how to test free chlorine and combined chlorine using the Taylor 2006C Test Kit. Complete instructions are always inside the lid. Here's some of the components in the test kit. This is the comparator. It's about 45 milliliters tall. So you have markings for 44 milliliters when we do pH. All the other tests will be 25 milliliters. Also instructions do allow you to take a 10 milliliter sample when you do free chlorine, but we don't want to do that. We always want to take 25 milliliter samples for free chlorine because it's the most accurate test. Our multiplier when we do that is 0.2, which I'll tell you real soon here. So the comparator, we always want to rinse it out before and after in our pool. When we take a water sample, I want to go to the pool and invert the comparator to trap air and then go down 18 inches, basically getting your elbow wet. Why you don't want to take water off the surface? Because all the nasties float on the surface. The bacteria, the chunkies, everything that we're trying to kill or filter away, burn up with the chlorine. Therefore, you'll actually get a lower chlorine level on the surface. So we want to invert that comparator, go down 18 inches, and then come up with your water sample. Now, I need, it's going to do for free chlorine, so I want 25 milliliters. Taylor taught me an incredible trick that I like a lot, is I take this comparator, cock it so the water line touches the corner. When it touches the corner, I have 25 milliliters every single time. Incredible. So now I'm going to do powder, 0870. This is a used test kit, as you can see. Spoon has some powder on it. It's been used before. I thump it sometimes to get that build up off. I don't wash it. I don't get it wet. I want to keep it dry. Powder should be nice and white. If you leave this cap open and expose it to moisture, it'll turn gray. I'm tapping it till I have a nice level scoop. I'm not scoop leveling it off my finger or anything else. Just tapping it and getting it level. Two scoops. Turns pink in the presence of free chlorine. Seal that lid, put the spoon back on the lid, and just put it back in the test kit. I do have a cap that I can mix this with. I have no real need to mix this if the powder goes in there nicely, which I think it has done. But in the past, I've seen balls form. And if you have a ball, what you could do is just rinse that lid, cap it, and gently rock it back and forth. And if you do that, the ball will hit the surface and rupture. So I take that cap off now and I have a nice mixture. To do the next step of the test, I'm going to use the brown bottle, 0871. When I pour this into the comparator, you want to point it straight down. Any angle at all will result in smaller or different size drops. These caps have holes that are precision drilled to give you the precise drop size. After many, many years of experience, I got it down where I got a nice swirling action going. You do ideally want to swirl this. Also, I'm looking down from the top because there's a white dot on the bottom here for color contrast. So I'm giving it a swirl and slowly putting my drops in. I got five drops in there. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20. I'm going to slow up a bit because it is lightening up a lot, actually. That's 20 drops. 21. 22. That's still a bit of pink. 23. And in question, I can always put another one. I think 23 was enough. So 23 drops. So multiplier is 0.2. So that's a 4.6 parts of a million free chlorine. Now I want to do uh, combined chlorine. I'm going to use the other bottle in a test kit, the 0003, five drops, point the bottle again straight down, give it a swirl, and oh, there's just the slightest, this is our test tank with very little, little combined chlorine in it. There's the slightest essence of pink in there, so I'm going to go real slowly, put one drop in, I cleared it up. Multiplier for this test is like before, 0.2, so one drop. The combined chlorine is 0.2 parts per million. A lot of codes say maximum combined chlorine level is 
or one part per million. So be aware what your local code says for commercial pools. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more additional instructional videos from Valley Aquatic Solutions.